I was watching these YouTube videos from black women asking, why are black men on YouTube addressing black women? Or as they put it, black women bashing. Why not? You've been doing it on TV, magazines, movies, poems, songs, saying black men need to do this, they need to do that, they need to get a job, stay out of jail, be real men, take care of your kids, stop being dogs, niggas ain't about shit. You said this for who knows how long. The only voice we had was rap music. You heard it. Bitches ain't shit but hoes and tricks. Ho, use a ho. Go digging girl, driving me crazy. I can't take it no more. Fellas, sing. Yeah, I know I took some of y'all back with that one. <laughs> I thought it was wrong for them. I thought it was wrong for rappers to say that about black women because I had in, in my mind, in the mind frame is if you're talking about black women, you're talking about your mother. But then as I got older, I said, hold up. They're nothing like my mother or grandmother. They're not loud. They don't wear different color hair. They don't disrespect other females. They don't shake their ass on YouTube. They don't have three babies by four different men. They're not the superheads of today. They don't try to set niggas up for money. They're nothing like them. And it's not all black women, as we keep saying, but falls on deaf ears. I mean, some of you black women have seen it yourself. You've seen the, the bullshit, the negativity that some of these black women portray. Just as we, just as some black men see other black men portray such negative, negative qualities about themselves, you know? Making other black men look bad. This, is, this has always, always been on black men's minds. It's just, we never had a voice except for rap songs. And now we have a second voice, YouTube. If the media gave the black men of America a chance to discuss our side in the media on talk shows, magazines, movies, they wouldn't do well because women would, would just want to boycott it or keep a tight lid on it. And, or companies will just lose money because of it. It's not a double standard and it seems like the only time that black women are addressed in the media is when black men are addressed first. Have y'all noticed that? The only time the black women are addressed in the media is when you address the black man first. It's like the black man need to do this, need to do that. She's like, yup, yeah, that's true, that's true. And then somebody turn around and say, well, yeah, you, yeah, black women, you need to do this, do that, do that. Yeah, that, that's true, too. That's true, too. It's like women will accept, they will accept that they need to change before they hear someone speak on the black man. You know, they'll, they'll admit their flaws, but the, until somebody admit the flaws of black men first. Y'all ch check it out now. Y'all watch. And you see what I'm talking about. The only time that I even seen a black woman being addressed on her bullshit is when I watched Chris Rock, his stand-up routine on HBO. I forgot the name of it. You know, it was recent. But it was the first time I seen anyone address black women without even mentioning black men. Because it's always been black women addressed the BS about black men, but we never see black women get addressed. It's always been like that. And we see so much, it got to the point where the media has manipulated the minds of some black men and have them believe that it's all on the black man's fault. It's never the woman. It's always the black man. When I was in my mid-teens, early 20s, that's all I heard. Men ain't shit. I'm talking about they say it with emphasis. They ain't shit. They never, they need to stop going to jail. They're either gay. They're not fathers. Rarely would you hear the things that are being said on YouTube about black women. You wouldn't hear it on TV. And YouTube didn't start till 2005. If it were possible, who was the first on YouTube to address the bullshit? Was it black women or black men? 
But really, it wouldn't matter because before YouTube, women were already getting on men about their nonsense. So, at a young age, I was thinking, yeah, the black women are right. It is, it is the black man's fault. They don't understand their black women. Why are they doing? Why are they doing this to our sisters? You know, that's how the media was manipulating my mind to thinking that it was all black. It was all black men's fault. Black men, because that's all you heard was black men need to do this. Black men need to do that. You never heard. I never heard black women need to do this or that or this or that in the media. I was brainwashed. But then as I got older, 23, 24 years old, I started to witness it for myself. It came to the realization that some of the things the black women were saying in the media was bullshit. I mean, you got women who are having babies by, by, by no good ass niggas. You have women open their legs, like I said, have them open their legs for no good ass niggas. They get mad when they get involved with a no good ass nigga. They be having three, four, five kids. They fucking just act a damn fool out in public. Hating on other broads. Talking so much about how other how other bitches is hating on them. Like you ain't a celebrity. How the hell how the hell somebody gonna hate on you? You ain't a celebrity. You know what I mean? It's all this all this stupid shit. You know? They don't want the good man, they want the no good niggas, they they never want to accept responsibilities for the predicaments that they got themselves into, it's all on a black man, you know, I mean, why, why are we not addressing the negatives about what these black women possess? Why is it black men? Why is it black men this, black men that, never black women this or black women that? And then when it is that when it is about black women need to do this, they need to do that, then they turn around and say, "Well, that's the black man's problem. They need to do this and they need to do that." And you know, white women they do it. You know, white women they do it also. It's not just us. They do it also. They yeah, they say that shit too. They say that shit too. I know what I saw with the P. He was. When Sergeant with the P was talking about that shit, he was right because they do do that shit. Because I remember I was having a debate with somebody. Oh, you know, a, you know, a black woman, and she she went into the well. You know, you can't put it all on us because you know, white girls they be doing that same shit. I'm like, oh, <laughs> oh my god, you don't want to be compared to a white girl. But then when I want to talk about what you need to do, now you want to be compared to the white girl. Come on, man. See, these are the things I've been wanting to address, but I never had an outlet. A voice, a place to talk about this. Then YouTube came along, and all this shit the black men had bottled up inside was coming out. And it, you know it was only going to be a matter of time. The media had fooled me at an early age that it was all the black man's fault. But it took for my pops, my uncles, my older peers, and what I witnessed for myself that it wasn't entirely the black man's fault. And when I, like I said, when I turned 23, I found out the truth that it wasn't. Now look, don't get me wrong. I said this numerous of times. I love black women, love them. But let's, but they have problems, and I get irritated when they want to blame black men, but they don't want to accept that they too are to blame as well. Whatever it may be. Because it's definitely a lot of things, but it's like they don't want to accept it. That they have problems too. Yeah, black men have issues that they need to resolve, but yeah, you do too. Alright, stop fronting.